Hello and welcome. My name is Ben. I'm part of the Prisma Cloud team here at Palo Alto Networks. And today I'm excited to talk to you guys about VM image scanning and specifically the capabilities for Amazon machine images. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So what I'm going to cover right now is just some of the improvements that we've uh, made to supporting the scans of AMIs with Prisma Cloud. Uh, we have support for non-default VPCs and subnets. We also support configuring different instance types, support for custom console API communication ports, as well as uh, support for scanning encrypted AMIs. And again, AMIs can be scanned throughout the CI/CD pipeline, as well as being protected at runtime. And this will provide full lifecycle protection uh, via our plugins and to a CLI tool. I just want to highlight one caveat here. Uh, you know, if you set invalid VPC subnet instant types um, during configuration, uh, the failure will be will be identified uh, during the scan, not not at uh, configuration. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into a quick demo. And we can show you how easy this is. Okay, awesome. So the first thing we're going to do is kind of walk through the steps that we're going to take to set our VM images scope here on the Prisma Cloud side. So where we want to go to from the portal is uh, defend vulnerabilities, host VM images, and then we're going to set a uh, VM images scope. So we'll take a look at one that I just defined and we'll walk through the different uh, configuration options. Um, console address is just going to be the console address of your Prisma Cloud instance. And then API port, we've added uh, the ability to use custom ports here. So for example, I'm using 443, not the default port. Uh, the region, now this is going to be the region, your AWS region, so ensure that you set that correctly. And then um, your scope, you're going to define a scope. So uh, what I've done here is I have defined a uh, TME AWS environment scope here. And what I've done is I basically said for this labels field, any uh, AMI that is tagged with environment set to demo, uh, go ahead and scan those images. So that's what we're doing here when we, we uh, set the scope. We're going to use that collection we, we just defined. And then credential, this is very important. These are going to be, this is going to be the credential that uh, Prisma Cloud is going to present to AWS to uh, essentially access the AMIs and perform the scanning action. So uh, just ensure that you have set that correctly. And I just want to highlight one point is when you uh, create this IAM user in AWS, ensure that um, you attach the following policy. And we will talk about this when we talk about the AWS side, but if you need to access this information, you can access this um, from the help menu on uh, the Prisma Cloud UI if you need to access that specific policy. Uh, then we come down to uh, number of scanners and then the cap. So uh, the cap is essentially if you set it to five it's going to scan the five most recently modified images if you set it to zero it's going to scan all images uh, we allow the configuration of a custom vpc id or subnet id and this for this demo we're going to keep these um, default but common use cases if you wanted to kind of sandbox all of your scanning activities into a secure uh, vpc of your choosing um, you could define an alternate vpc id and then just ensure you set the instance type then hit update and then ensure that you click save. And that's gonna kick off um, the scan there. Uh, otherwise uh, to whatever your scanning intervals are set to, if it's one hour, uh, et cetera, uh, then your scans are gonna kick off um, at, that, at that interval. Um, so if you save it, it goes ahead and kicks off uh, uh, immediately if you've made any changes. Uh, and then it's going to apply the logic that you have defined in your scanning interval. So at this point, we're going to, um, pivot over into AWS and take a look uh, at the configuration steps on that side. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, awesome. So now that we've landed in the AWS console, I quickly just wanna cover three core things. I wanna look at our image, ensure that we actually have an AMI that Prisma Cloud is able to scan. Uh, two, I wanna look at the identity and access management user that we've given um, Prisma Cloud to use. And then three, I wanna check my KMS settings to ensure that uh, Prisma Cloud is able to uh, decipher the AMI image and scan it correctly. So first let's look at the AMI itself. So I'm just gonna uh, click on AMIs here. And we do actually have an AMI. So I actually built this one from a community image and I just ran the instance and then built an AMI from there. This could be a private AMI that you've built using EC2 image builder uh, or, or, or some other tool set. Um, this is what we just wanna confirm that we do have an AMI here that Prisma Cloud could see. And another thing I wanna uh, check is ensure that it's tagged correctly. Because remember we set the collection to say, hey, our VM scanning scope is 
check this AWS account and ensure that any AMIs that are tagged with the key uh, environment and the value demo, go ahead and scan that. We can see this AMI uh, has uh, that key value pair. So we'll be good from that perspective. Take a look at the EBS volume. We can see that it is encrypted. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the identity access management user um, and ensure that that's been corrected, uh, correctly configured. So when we look at the user here, we, I just created this username, uh, Prisma Cloud Scanner. This is the user, the IAM user that Prisma Cloud is gonna present when uh, uh, attempting to authenticate and then perform the scanning actions in your AWS environment. And here's that attached policy that I was talking about. So we can take a look at uh, the JSON output. And that is what I was mentioning on the Prisma Cloud side is that you need to ensure that this uh, IAM user has these permissions. So we're good from that perspective. And let's wrap up by talking about KMS. So from the key management perspective, if you're going to encrypt your AMI, you need to ensure that you provide a key to Prisma Cloud uh, to ensure that we can decipher it, right? So we've created this Prisma Cloud key here. We can take a look at the key ID. And the piece here that's important is that this key is used to, uh, is associated with, with your AMI encryption. Two, that you actually allow the correct IAM user to um, use this key to provide, uh, to perform that decipher action. And we see that we have shared this correctly with the correct user. So with that, we are all good from the AWS side. And now we're ready to pivot back into Prisma Cloud and get the results from our image scan. All right, so now that we're back in Prisma Cloud, let's actually look at these scanning results. So let's move away from our Defend tab and let's go to Monitor and let's look at vulnerabilities. Then we wanna ensure that we're on hosts and then VM images. And I've just filtered by the collection TMA, uh, uh, by the collection we use, that environment uh, collection. And we do see that Kudu uh, AMI that I created and we see the vulnerability report. Uh, so we see a couple uh, vulnerabilities here and all the compliance and package information that you could expect from our Twistlock Defender scan. And with that, uh, that concludes our demo. So I hope everyone enjoyed uh, the demonstration of AMI scanning in Prisma Cloud. And as always, I hope you have a good rest of your day and a good rest of your week. Take care.